Hey guys, good to see y'all. Welcome back. Uh, I haven't gotten to say this, so hope your Christmas and New Year's were amazing. Now, before we get into today's talk, we need to talk about this Band-Aid on my head because I don't want you asking, why is that Band-Aid in the middle of his forehead the rest of the talk? I was, let me, well, let's put it this way. Just make sure you take a step back when you close the back hatch on your car. Just, just make sure you take a step back and your head's far enough away from the lift gate. All right, we'll leave it there. Let me pray real quick. Father God, thank you for um, just another day of life. Uh, as we get into your word and talk about what it looks like and why we attend church, um, just Holy Spirit, just be present, uh, as I already know you will be in this moment, be present in the conversations that we're gonna have in our groups after this. Um, Thanks so much for this time. Thank you most of all for your son. And it is in Jesus' holy, precious, matchless name I pray. Amen. So guys, this series is entitled Out of the Box. The reason being is we're taking a look at a few things, but we're looking at them differently than you typically would. And this week is no different. And this week we're talking about attending church. I know, I know, you're so excited to talk about attending church and why we attend church. So let me just go ahead and say this. As a middle schooler, I never wanted to go to church. Like I would come up with so many excuses from, I don't feel well, or I'm too tired or whatever it was. I just didn't like going. It was boring. Uh, the, we sang hymns and Hey, if you like hymns, that's, that's great. I, I mean, I like what the hymns say. It's just not my favorite type of, uh, melody, if you will. Uh, give me David Crowder all day long. Um, but it, it just, I would even literally count cars during the sermon <laughs> as they would drive by the window <laughs> on the road where my church sat, um, just to pass the time. Right. So I, I get it. Like I, I get not wanting to come. But before we even get into this, here's what I want you to do. Have you ever not wanted to go to church and maybe your parents made you go or maybe you were staying at a friend's house and they were going. So you had to go with him. If so, if if you've had that experience and I would imagine all of you have had that experience, why didn't you want to go? That's what I want you to talk about in your groups right now. We'll pause here again. Have you ever not wanted to go to church? And why didn't you want to go? And no judgment, literally no judgment for whatever your answer is. This will be a fun little exercise. Go and I'll be back with you in a couple minutes. And we're back. Now, I'm sure y'all came up with some crazy <laughs> reasons uh, of why you didn't want to go to church. Now, as I said, we're taking a different look at each of these subjects in the series. And so instead of talking to you and selling you on why you should go to church and, and all of that good stuff and why you should want to go to church, I'm going to tell you why I go to church and the people that I call my best friends and the people I do community with, why we go to church. Let's go to Hebrews 10, 23 through 25. It says this, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Now, the word day is capitalized in that. We'll come back to that. Few points in this, right? And let's just kind of, let's just take the scripture and, and look at it. Um, again, this is from Hebrews, right? And my point one is this, hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess, right? Let us hold unswervingly to the hope that we profess. In other words, we need to hold on to the hope. And what is our hope? It's, it's Jesus. And notice that it said, we, not the hope you profess. It said, we, this is a community 
thing. That is absolutely one reason why I go to church and why we go to church and Christians go to church is for community. It, it's the body of believers. Point two, spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together. Again, community. To spur one another on in love and good deeds, here's what that means. Hey, let's encourage one another to do not only love each other, and that's all well and good, and to, but also to good, do good deeds. So here's the thing I'm saying. My best friends truly are my best friends, not because they are the best encouragers. And yes, they encourage me all the time but they also hold me accountable and they speak truth to me when I need to hear it, right? That's a true friend. Point three, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. See, now we come back to the day. Here's what that means and why it's capitalized is it's talking about the day of Christ's return. So in other words, this is talking about what Christ is done for you, for me, for us as Christians, right? Again, that's a community thing. We all get to experience that. And that's what unifies us and bonds us is uh, going back even to the first point, we all have the same hope and we come to remember what Christ did looking forward to the day he's going to come back. So what do we do with that? right? Like, okay, I hear all that. And that makes sense. Thanks for sharing all that, Travis. So where did that get you? Well, I'll tell you. Yes. As I said, it was not much fun going to church, growing up and sitting through the service and, and all of those things. However, as I was writing this talk, I looked back on my life and so many of the biggest things and deepest moments and sweetest moments and best friendships came out of the people that I knew and went to church with. It really is that simple. Like, and it actually struck me as I look back, like, wow, here's the point. It's amazing what God can do even when you aren't paying attention. Does that make sense? Trust me, just show up, be in community. I promise you, I have never met one person who made that choice to go engage in that community and attend church and all of the things we've talked about that has ever looked back and regretted it. Y'all have an amazing week. We love y'all. Have an awesome group time and we will see you back and better than ever next Sunday.